Hey guys! So today I am doing another K-pop inspired look and this one is inspired by Ravi from Vix LR Beautiful Liar. Oh my god, the video had me just dead on the floor. My two biases from Vix doing a song together and Ravi just, he's like the most beautiful thing ever and he's so perfect and I was just like, oh my god. And his makeup was on point, so I was like, yes, um, I need to do this. Um, so this look is inspired by Ravi's kind of vampy, smoky look. Um, now I blew out the look a lot on my eyes because I have a completely different eye shape than he does. But if you want to stick exactly to what he has, um, go ahead and do that. I just wanted it to fit my eye shape and obviously I didn't do the straight Korean brows. I just did how I usually do my brows. So you can definitely take this look and alter it to your face shape and everything or your preference. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I had a lot of fun creating it because I love these dark smoky K-pop looks. They're just awesome. So, if you want to know how I got this look, just stay tuned. Okay, so first I'm going to apply a primer, and I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Eyelid Primer. And I'm just going to put a little bit all over my lid up to the brow. And underneath as well. Now taking a black liner, I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild liner from Fergie and I'm going to tight line, do a little bit on my upper lash line and um, waterline and lower lash line. Okay, and I'm going to smudge it out with a matte black from my Lorac palette. I want to kind of bring, I want to keep it rounded, but I want to have it kind of pointed downward. And I would suggest using a eyeliner pencil that doesn't set really quick, like the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. Those set really, really quick, and unless you work with them super fast, they will set and it will be hard to work with. Um, I use my Fergie Wet n Wild ones, so I would suggest something like that. And now for the red, I'm going to be using a mix of two colors from my Take Me to Brazil palette. It is these two really pretty red shades. This more true red, and then this kind of pinky red. And I'm going to be mixing them together and blending them into the black and around my eye. For our highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite highlight of all time. It is the Milani Eyeshadow in Bella Chiffon. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush and just lightly add a highlight. Help blend out the red.
and I'm going to clean up any fallout extra eyeshadow with a makeup wipe and then I'm going to quickly add some mascara. I'm going to use the Flamed Up Mega Curl from CoverGirl. And now I'm going to go move to my face and do the do my face makeup and I will be right back. Alright, so I finished um, just my foundation, concealer, and powder. I kept my face really pale because it was, his face was also very pale in the video. And I'm going to focus on contouring. He has amazing cheekbones and amazing jawline. So we are going to try to try to um, copy that with the City Color Be Matte Blush. And this is in Toasted Coconut. And it's a really good um, contour for us wonderful pale girls. And it's like three bucks. So. Also going to use some to contour the sides of my nose just to kind of give it some depth because there's like no depth in my nose, especially around here. And he didn't have any kind of blush or anything on. But he did have um, a really nice highlight going on, so I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer from the Balm, and I'm in love with this stuff. And now for lips, he had a really, really didn't have a lot going on on the lips, but he had that kind of vampy um, gradient lip. So I'm going to kind of snip it up a bit and use the NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie as a um, all over color. And then for that vampy look, I'm going to take this luscious lipstick from uh, Laura Geller in Cherry Sorbet. And I'm just going to add it on the inner part of my lips. That is my Ravi Beautiful Liar inspired look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click like if you like this and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to all of you in my next video. Bye.